you're part of a worldwide movement that is bigger than France, bigger than Italy, bigger than Hungary, bigger than all of it. He's been called the architect of Donald Trump's rise to power, but will Steve Bannon's populist message meet with similar success in Europe? Hello, I'm Arnold Naidu, and this is The Heat. There's no denying that Steve Bannon's nationalist strategy helped propel Donald Trump to the White House. Now, Mr. Trump's former chief strategist is turning his attention to the European Union and next year's parliamentary elections. Bannon has set up shop in Brussels, hoping to help topple what he sees as the EU's liberal establishment, something government supporters say would sound the death knell for Europe's political and monetary unions. For more, we turn now to CGTN's Nathan King. He's in our newsroom. And Nathan, break it down for us. Can Bannon's populist, nationalist message be as successful in Europe? First, a couple of caveats. Steve Bannon is, as you said, no longer chief strategist for the Trump administration. In fact, his impact within the Trump White House has perhaps been overestimated, and that says so many of his critics, perhaps by Steve Bannon himself. He is the anonymous source for many articles in Washington. But the premise of your question does contain an important point in that his focus now, after leaving the White House, has shifted from the Washington U.S. political uh, scene to Europe. He's starting a roadshow across Europe in conjunction with European right-wing uh, uh, politicians. It's called The Movement. The idea is to unite populist forces across Europe, pushing back on immigration and migration policies, uh, and also tackle what they call the so-called uh, so rise of radical Islam. And it's largely backed by fringe Belgian and Italian politicians, but there is some other support as well. And their aim is to somehow have a populist majority in the European Union Parliament, or at least enough members to create trouble for consensus builders. Now, Bannon will also be joining uh, Italian Interior Minister Matteo, uh, Matteo Salvini uh, uh, in Rome at a rally for the Populist Brotherhood uh, uh, of Italy party. But so far, uh, there have been gains for the far right in Europe, but not real successes. But the big question is, is it fraying? And is it moving to the right or to the left? In fact, there is evidence to say that left politics have also been energized. We have EU parliamentary elections approaching. And the other question is the United Kingdom's deci decision to exit the EU, Brexit. You could argue is also a result of a move to the right. But their exit from the EU is proving very divisive and may actually backfire on the economy and its society. Now, Nathan, we've seen the rise of far-right nationalist parties in Germany, Italy, even Sweden. You've been talking about yeah. that, just to name a few. It would seem like a natural place for someone with Bannon's views. Uh, what's been the response to his offer for help? Well, you know, people like the French President Emmanuel Macron have su been suggesting not just about Bannon, but there is a looming clash over the future direction of Europe. German Chancellor Angela Merkel also raised questions about how can the EU stick together uh, with these new forces. But there are many, even on the right, who questions Bannon's need to get involved here. After all, he's a foreigner, uh, an American. Uh, many of these movements are deeply nationalistic. There's also a question of his track record here in the U.S. Yeah, he may have helped U.S. President Trump get elected, but remember, it was by the slimmest of margins. Uh, Trump has been a deeply divisive president. His popularity is not high outside of his base, and he's facing very difficult midterm elections right now, which could see his party lose control of maybe not just one, but two houses of Congress. So the, the Trump uh, track record may not be something you can just export to Europe, Alan. Thanks, Nathan. That's CGTN's Nathan King reporting from our newsroom. Thank you.